It's a smith and wesson. Yes, sir. And uh, one's an AR-15 and uh, right here. Yeah, we found quite a few of them. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today I'm with a couple new friends that you guys haven't seen in a while and I'm with one new friend that I've made and you guys are gonna know who he is if you've seen the River Treasure community. Everybody who hunts for River Treasure knows Man Plus me? River. How's it going What's up, man? dude? Thanks for having me. <laughs> Good man. to see you. Yeah, of course he drove all, actually no, you didn't drive, you flew. I flew and then I drove and then I slept and then I drove and then I ate and then I came here. <laughs> exactly, so he came all the way from Texas. He's super excited to see what we can find today. Hopefully under this bridge we'll be able to find, um, I don't know, potential criminal evidence, maybe possibly a grenade, a gun, but I've also got Nugget Noggin. How's it going? <laughs> I'm good, I'm ready to get in this freezing cold water. Yeah, it's about 45 <laughs> degrees in the water. I've got my dry suit on. All of these champs have their wetsuits on. So we're gonna see how it goes. But last time I was actually in this dry suit. <laughs> I'm also with my friend exploring with Nug. Always we're out here searching the rivers together. And uh, what do you think we're gonna find here, man? Gun. A gun? I Hopefully. Think I think we'll find a gun. Hopefully, well, the bridge, we'll the bridge <laughs> one up from, like from this one, one up from this bridge, we actually found an AR-15 and a shotgun. So there's a potential to find some really cool stuff. We're in a pretty bad area, a pretty sketchy town. So you never know what we're gonna find, but let's get in the water and see what we can get. So Dallas, is this your first time in like really horrible water, like two to oh, three no, foot no, vis? No, 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 this is, this is clear as, um, Clear water compared to what I've been in. This is not, this is nice. Definitely, man. Yeah, I, I can do this. Sweet. I like it washed away by the current. Yeah, I know. It does look pretty strong over there. There is like a little buoy or something in the water over there, and I'm not really sure what it is, but we're going to get in the water and hopefully kill it today. I'm going to get the gear on, get in the water, and hopefully we'll find some cool stuff. bust but we just made it to the second spot and I think this is one of the best spots that we are probably ever going to find I mean this place is just a literal dumping ground there's TVs sofas basically everything you could think of down this driveway that leads underneath the bridge so with that said I'm gonna get the gear on get into the water and hopefully we'll find something really cool Dallas yeah you being man plus river, does this look like a good river to you? Oh, are you filming? Yeah, yeah. no, this is definitely a great river. I've probably never been in a sketchier part, part of town. Of town. <laughs> and there happens to be a bridge and a river right here. So yes. if, if I'm gonna find anything in my lifetime that is sketchy, it's gonna be it's here. It's gonna be right here, yeah. yeah. As if you take a walk around, just like down the driveway, you can see right here, there's just like sofas and crazy stuff like a vacuum cleaner right there windows toilets basically anything you can think of sad that people don't clean up after themselves but definitely lets me know that we're in the right place to search for stuff This has got to be one of my craziest finds I've ever made. That is insane. It's a bag full of guns. Let's go under again. Oh my god, what else is it hurt? 
freaking out right now look at that thing man oh my gosh dude i got a bag of them right here a bag of assault rifles let me see that let me see that oh my gosh look at that it's a smith it's a smith and wesson it's a smith and wesson Oh, it is still has the serial numbers on it. Hey. Yeah, so hey, boy. Yep. <laughs> oh. in here.
Oh, that's an AR. That's an AR, yeah, for sure. Oh, there, there is a magazine, but that was already found. You shot a Tech 9. A Tech 9, look at that. Doing a split. All right, everybody. So it is the end of the day. I actually just got out of the water not too long ago with my friends. We had an exceptional day of uh, searching for criminal evidence underneath this bridge. And look what we found, man. I mean, this is just mind blowing. Everything that we were able to find. I actually found this bag right here and it was filled with two 35 pound weights. Uh, so someone definitely did not want this found. And I actually ended up finding an AR-15. Uh, as you can see right here, it's coming apart in several different pieces, but it is it's still, I mean, that's like an amazing find. I've always wanted to find an assault rifle. So that is super cool. Um, I got Adam from Adam Brown Adventures. He was able to find this really nice revolver pistol. It's a Smith & Wesson. And I got Nugget Noggin right here. He was able to find a nice Tech 9. And uh, that was really cool because he actually found that right near where I found the bag. And then inside the bag with the AR, I was actually able to find this Smith & Wesson pistol. And as you can see right here, the serial numbers have been completely scratched out. So, Michael just came over here actually, so how convenient. What do you think it's time to do now? Maybe call the police. Maybe call the police. I think it's time to call the police. So. With that said, I'm gonna give the police a call. We're gonna get them down here and we're gonna see how they handle the situation. Hi there, um, this, I just wanted to reach out. This is not an emergency. Um, my buddies and I, we were scuba diving over on the, and uh, we ended up finding um, a bag full of guns, uh, including an AR-15 and a couple pistols as well. And we also found a couple. Give me one second, sir. You're in Cobb County. One moment for Cobb County, okay? All right, thank you. Oh, they are out of the water. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I, I'm literally. Uh, my phone number is. Uh, so there's actually multiple people here. So um, I'm with actually four of my other friends. So there's multiple vehicles. There's a, a red Ford, uh, a silver uh, Nissan. Okay, where are the items that you found? Can I meet the police to get those items? They're, they're, under, they're right underneath the bridge with us by the cars. So, I mean, they can just meet us right there. Yes. Yeah. There's no specific name of it, but it's like, it's basically oak, yeah. like a... Uh, they're actually not in any vehicle at all. They're actually just right up on the bank. We just kind of put them on the bank of the river. Okay, but who so. can they meet with to collect these items? Uh, they can meet with all of us. I mean, we're we're all just here right now, so we. Okay. And, and I guess okay. anybody. Who can, what car are you? In? Like, are you going to be waiting in the vehicles or on foot? No, I'll I'll be I'll be outside of the vehicle. We'll we'll see you guys roll up, and and I'll I'll let you guys know where we are. I'll go ahead and let them know. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, we just got off the phone with the police and uh, they're gonna come over here and address the situation. Um, tried to get on the phone with them several times before and it sent me to different offices and they're kind of trying to figure out whose protocol it is to come out here and check out the stuff. But I'm really glad we were able to call them and we're gonna wait for them to come here and we'll see what happens next. Here they are, the police are here right now. They're coming down to talk to us. How's it going, sir? We found a bag of firearms and a, 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 a belt, how many, how many, six, six or seven? Yes, sir. And uh, one's an AR-15 and uh, right here. Oh, so 
sorry about that. I know it's such a confusing spot to like call you guys. Yeah, we found quite a few of them. They're in pieces, so like they broke it up and put it in the bag. There's a couple, there's a couple more. There, these ones were the ones that were in this bag, and then there's a couple more right here. <laughs> We've all already touched it a million times. Yeah, right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> they grinded the serial numbers off that one too. Yeah, they're no, right. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the ones in the bag, I don't know if it's significant, but the ones in the bag were um, that pistol right there, and then the AR, and that mag was in it too, and all those bullets were in that bag. And it was weighed down by 70 pounds, uh, two 35 pound dumbbells. Really? Uh, the dumbbells are on the other side, but I wasn't able to swim swim with them across. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Yep. Revolver has a serial number. The pistol, the, oh, the black one, that one right there, yes, yes, this really is. Oh, it doesn't tell, it doesn't tell us where it comes back to our man. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure you hit that like button and subscribe and check out some more of our videos. Also, don't forget to press that notification bell as well and check out my friends' channels. I have all three of my friends located down in the description below. Be sure to check out the other videos of today because it was crazy just the amount of guns and criminal evidence we were able to find at this one bridge. I think it really speaks volumes how like bad of an area this is but I'm super glad that the police were able to take over the situation with the bag. Definitely one of my craziest finds ever. I will never be able to top that. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and we will see you guys on the next one.